Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will explain how to customize header rows of timeline views in the Sync Fusion Blazor scheduler. Looking at this example, you can see the timeline month view, loaded with the complete year dates. Two rows have been added at the top, displaying the month and year combination in the first row, and the week number in the second. These header row options are applicable for timeline views only. Now, let me demonstrate the header row options in the Blazor scheduler and how to customize the header rows using built-in templates. The Blazor scheduler offers five built-in header row options, year, month, week, date, and hour. As I said before, you can define all these header rows in all the timeline views. One exception is that the hour option is not applicable on the timeline month view. Now, I will work with an example where I have added the Blazor scheduler with simple list data. If you want to know the steps to add the scheduler with list data, then you can watch the Getting Started video linked in the card. Also, you can download the Getting Started sample from the link provided in the description for this video. Now, I will run this application to show you the output of this example. Look at the scheduler output where you can find the normal appointments here. Let me show you how to define header rows in this scheduler layout. To use this header row feature, I need to define the schedule header rows tag, which accepts one or more schedule header row tags. Here, I will define five schedule header row tags, as I am going to display the header options, year, month, week, date, and hour. Now, I need to set the option, year for the first header row, month for the second header row, week for the third header row, date for the fourth header row, an hour for the fifth header row. Look at the scheduler now. You can see five header rows displaying the year, month, week number, date, and time. This five header row representation is possible in all the timeline views, like timeline day, timeline week, and timeline work week. When I switch to the timeline month view, we will find only four header rows. Each of these rows is displaying the values for year, month, week number, and date. Suppose, I want to change or customize the header row label appearance in the Blazor scheduler. To do this, we can use a built-in template option. Let's customize the header rows. I will implement three separate header rows, one displaying the month and year, one displaying the week numbers, and the third displaying the dates. So now, let me show you the code snippet to achieve this appearance in the header row. Here, I'm going to work on a timeline month view. So. Let me remove the other timeline views from the scheduler. I have retained the year, week, and date header row options, and removed the other header row options like month and hour. To customize the year header row, I need to define the template property within the year header row option. Here, I will define a division tag with the class name month year text. I am going to display the date time in string format. So, within this section of code, let me define the method get month year text which receives the argument as a date time value. Then, I will convert the context as a template context class and pass this date as an argument for the getMonthYearText method. As I mentioned before, I am going to display the date time in month and year format. So, let me convert the date time value into month and year format. For this conversion, I need to access this culture info class. So, let me import the system globalization namespace in the imports.razor file. Now when you look at the scheduler, you can see here, the year header row displaying the customized label, which is the month and year information. Currently, the week header just displays the week number. So, let's customize the week header row next. Within the week header row option, I need to define the template property. Now, I will define a division tag with the class name week text. Here, I am going to append the text value week before the week number. So, let me add the text week and define a get week text method to convert the date time value to string format. Here, I have converted the context as a template context class. Within this get week text method, I will make a call to the public method get week of year to get the exact week number of the date I have passed. Now, I am done customizing the week header row option. You can see here, the word week has been appended before the week numbers, and you can see the month row with customized text as well. Also, you can see that the scheduler is displaying a single month here. 
If I want to display an entire year, then, within this timeline month view, I need to define an interval property with the value 12. So that, we can display a complete year's date values. Let me summarize the important points we have discussed in this video. We covered different header row options, as well as how to add those options in the timeline views. Also, we have seen how to customize the header rows with built-in template options and how to load a whole year's data in the Blazor scheduler. If you would like to see this example in action, you can download it from the GitHub link shared in the description below. I have also provided a link in the description where you can check if you are eligible for a free license key to use all our Blazor products through our community license. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.